What's up guys, uh, we're on another bid today. Uh, this is the house here, it's an old farmhouse. Uh, it's got a lot of intricate stuff. It's gonna be a custom job. This is not like a fly by night kind of situation or scenario. But yeah, this is gonna be the house, the next job that we have. We're out here bidding it. The homeowner isn't here today. But something I was doing when I was um, walking the house, using the estimating sheet to figure out how much I'm gonna charge for this. And uh, stick around to the end of the video because I'll tell you how much roughly I'm gonna charge for this project here. Uh, I realized, you know, the bricks. So we got all these bricks right here. And one of the things about the bricks is people will ask you, oh, did you subtract footage for the bricks? Now, you're not gonna subtract footage for the bricks because now if the bricks weren't there, you, you would save time because you wouldn't have to wrap the bricks. So either, even though we're not painting the bricks, we still have to wrap the bricks. So that's what we'll do. Every time we paste it off, we'll include it. Now, if you're interested in using my guide, to estimate jobs um it's free it's in the link down below um also if you're curious how i get all these jobs um i'll also leave uh the lead generator link down there for you guys as well so you can see exactly how i go about it so i'm gonna walk this house a little bit i'm gonna tell you right now that there's a lot of uh stuff to keep in mind on this house for instance the eaves are a different color than the body so you're gonna have to uh, divide your footage differently there's two different ways to do it if the eaves are the same as the body then um, there's two there's an equation and if the eaves are different there's a different equation so there's two different equations for that and in my guide uh it actually does it automatically for you so this back house has a little sunroom right here i'm not exactly sure if i'm going to paint the inside of the sunroom but this is kind of the same scenario as the bricks now even though we're not going to be painting that area where the where the openings are we still have to wrap that opening so when we're pacing it off and figuring out our square footage for the house and by figuring out the square footage of the house that's how you figure out how much paint you need as well so yeah you just include it don't worry about subtracting out you know openings bricks and stuff um those i counted as a window uh, to make sure that you know that i have enough paint for the project it has a big dormer on top here so when I do it side by side, I just include top and bottom as one side. And uh, you could also do it too in the section that has like a, a fifth section for a fifth side. And people are like, oh, this house is four sides, right? Well, you could use that column to do a dormer. Just do it all in your head. You know, it's fairly simple. Um, and all the instructions are included there. But let me show you the kind of damage that we deal with over here, the south side of the homes out here. This house has got to be... I'd say dang near 100 years old. And I know for a fact, underneath here is uh, gonna be an oil-based paint. Because when they built, back back when they built, you know, this is oil-based, oil-based. And this is kind of why you're having this buckling. Um, another reason too, this type of wood here, when you're painting this type of old uh, siding, shiplap type siding, you don't want to caulk it in. You don't want to caulk it in because what it ends up doing is it traps moisture behind it. And that's kind of what um, creates this, this issue here where the paint is just buckling. It's just buckling out, buckling out. Now, when we come through, we'll probably caulk in these edges here, all the seams and joints, as well as right here. We'll probably, we'll probably go ahead and put a treatment on all of this area as well. Uh, the main thing I'm thinking really what's going on is like here, there is water. Water is getting trapped behind here. So that you could totally tell that, uh, let's see if I can get the angle right. So this right here, this is water that's coming down from up here and it gets stuck behind here. So they use some, maybe I'm guessing elastomeric paint, which is a paint that's very flexible. And so literally just created a little pocket for water to accumulate and then that just slowly pushes the paint off and then causes a lot of problems so there is quite a bit of prep work on this house which is why the bid is going to be higher than most uh, projects that are this size but after walking it and figuring it out i'm thinking we're going to need about 30 gallons of paint um that's going to be for two coats however we're going to have to put a another type of product on there which is a peel stop product and what that peel stop product does is it really bonds all of uh it bonds down all that sticky stuff now we're gonna go through we're gonna scrape it all knock it all down especially all of the loose stuff so all of the loose stuff will get knocked down and then we'll go ahead and sand it 
treat it with that peel stop. Probably put a primer coat on it as well. But yeah, it's a pretty big house, guys. So yeah, don't forget, if you guys are interested in how I get all my jobs and how I get these leads here, make sure you check out the links in the description below. So this project, I'm going to tell you flat out, it's going to be roughly $7,500. And that's for a custom project. I'm guessing it'll take us about 50 hours is kind of what I, uh, well, it'll be closer to 100 hours because we'll have two people on the project. So yeah, that's what we're looking at, guys. So if this helps you guys out, I hope it helps you guys out. I don't know. Um, in my area, I can't charge too high. Um, I do have a lot of competition in the area, so always keep that in mind. However, these leads come in like hand over fist lately, and um, I could bid at what I think it's worth to do the project right, um, to do it custom, to do it, I mean, to do it right, you know, because obviously the painter before this used a product that's not really meant for this type of uh, house, especially these older houses. They kind of need some special treatment. So anyways, if this helps you guys out, give me a thumbs up. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button if you haven't already. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Or you can watch one of these. All of these videos are very cool too. All right, thanks for watching. Peace.